G'day ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jazza and welcome back to a brand new video where today we're going to be taking a look inside my box. Crikey, she is big. Now before we take a look inside this bad girl, we're going to need ourselves a knife. You call that a knife? This is a knife. Bugger, I went a bit too deep. Oh, I hope I didn't get the actual box. That was really deep. Oi, kids, don't play with knives. They're deadly. She's a beaut. Oh, she is a... being attacked here by wild beasts. You never know what can happen out here. If we stay really still, we might get to see some action. As you can see, my stillness frightened her away. Oh God, all right, <laughs> I can't do it. Whoa, hello. I don't know how I feel about this whole bearded jazzer business. There can only be one bearded artist. Oh, Eva says thank you. Ah, that feels so much better. Hi, why is my chair so low? I feel like I owe an apology to the entirety of Australia for that terrible, terrible accent. Sorry. So with all of the shenanigans out of the way, my name is ADC Art Attack, his name is Kiba, and today we're taking a look inside the Jazza Artist Pro Artist Kit. Before we get into it, a quick word from today's sponsor, Canvi. Canvi is an online business tool for artists. Finally. An absolutely incredible website that will allow you to promote and share your artwork in a professional way like no other before. So let's say you're an artist and you create an amazing, awesome piece of artwork that you just love, but now you want to sell it. Right, so here we are on the Canvi website. Now I wanted to show you this because I do not think words alone do it justice. The moment you open this website, you are greeted with the most easy to understand site I've ever seen. Immediately it tells you and shows you everything you can do, even down to building your own website within the site. That's pretty awesome. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly upload my artwork. Loads of pictures of myself. <laughs> And once you have your artwork uploaded to the site, all you need to do now is choose a room. And they have a lot. Seriously. Blood my artwork. Oh! Okay, it's a... It was a really small painting. <laughs> One of the best features about this website is you can accurately display your sized artwork within the surrounding environments by simply changing the measurements. Oh look, you can even move it around. The level of customization doesn't end there. If you are not happy with the background color, click it and change it. You can even change the color of the chair. Nice. Once you are happy with the setting of your artwork, all you need to do now is download the image, pick a size, quality. And in just a matter of seconds, we have ourselves a professional looking image that we can use to showcase our artworks on our websites, our social medias, wherever we fancy. Now Canvi has very graciously given us a one month free pro membership for everyone to use using the link down below in the description as well as the pinned comment of this video as well as giving me an amazing one year free pro membership to one lucky person over on Instagram so make sure you comment on the post up on Instagram right now. A big thank you to Canvi for sponsoring today's video and allowing me to make this sponsor as freely as I like. There will be links down below to their website as well as the pinned comment of this video. Make sure to check them out. They are absolutely Incredible, thank you. Back to the video. <laughs> so this box right here is the artist dream created by fellow YouTuber and professional artist Jazza in collaboration with Spectrum Noir coming in at a price tag of $100. Now, at the time of making this video, these are available for just a few more hours. So if by the end of the video, you feel this kit is worth it and right for you, click the link down below in the description and go and get one. Seriously, there are only a few hours left. Slight like confession. I do not know what is inside this box. The only thing I am aware of are the Spectrum Noir markers. Beyond that, I have managed to avoid every single video put out there and I have no clue what to expect. I was actually supposed to receive this kit back in like October or November of last year, but due to some shipping issues and the COVID situation, it only just arrived. So yeah, I'm excited to take a look inside this. Right, so here is the Jazza box. Now, I'm not going to be doing an overview of this box because on the back side it tells you what is inside of it, but I don't want to know what's inside it. You can. There you go. Spoiler. Ah, it's got a sticky. I don't want to... I don't want to... Ah! 
Oh, it's a box within a box. Okay. I'm genuinely like so excited for this. I thought it was like 10 pens. This is a whole, there's a whole collection of markers in here. And they're brush tips, so. Is this like, this like, he's put like so many coloring pages in here. How many are there? There's a lot. So I'm gonna assume this is the famous brush pen I've been hearing so much about. Uh, looking forward to using that. Gotta say. Oh. No offense to Jazza or anything, but like, I didn't expect this. I didn't think there was gonna be this level of quality in this pack. Like, I, I, I know Jazza and I assumed it would be good quality, but this is really, yeah, this is probably the best art collection I've ever, it's definitely the best thing I've received from Jazza. <laughs> All right, so this is everything that is contained within that pack. And just for $100, even the 26 markers alone, I'd say would be enough, right? D depending on how good they are. But you get quite a bit. And the fact that you get some original artwork from Jazra is like, I'm really happy. <laughs> so let's give some of this stuff a go. I'm gonna start with like this thing, because the markers, yeah. Let's have a look at the coloring pages first. This bag is not a toy. Oh, these are actually really good quality paper as well. What's... They're all different ways. Oh my God, they're all different. Right, is it? Hold up. I'm gonna wager that the next one is landscape. Bugger. Okay, I'm actually not gonna go through all of these because I don't want to spoil it for people. So if you do get a hold of this collection, then you know, you can. Look yourself. Lazy. Shark bait. Ooh ha ha. Where do you begin cutting this open as a side? So good. Is it weird that this knife also came from Jazza? Everything I own is Jazza's at this point. It's not even like cheap as well. This is not even cheap. This is really... Jazza. Take a day off, man. This is really high quality stuff, dude. Like... That's the weirdest thing I've ever said. Okay, so next up, I wanna try. It's really far away. I wanna give these fine liners a test. Now, in particular, this brush nip because Jazz has been raving about it and I am very, very much interested to see what the hype is about. I don't use brush tips, fine liners, never really use them. So I'm not gonna have any sort of reference to go from, but sounds good. I mean, if it's good, it's good. Let's see. Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't expect that. So yeah, I was caught complete. Why is the mic so quiet? Ah! So yeah, I was caught completely off guard by this pen. I didn't expect how firm yet flexible it is. Really difficult to describe, but I think I can see the hype. It feels amazing to use. There's a sense of, I'm not expected to be perfect, so it doesn't matter. There isn't a complete lack of control, however, and you can totally thicken up lines or even create extremely fine lines, whatever way you feel works best for you. After just a couple of minutes messing about using this, it really doesn't look terrible, but more importantly, I think I like it. So next up, I wanted to give the markers a test run, but did not expect what I was about to discover. They come with a display stand. Ah, <sighs> too much, too much. The markers themselves, hmm. I definitely will need to give them a better test. Right now I'm speed racing this just to try out the equipment, but these pens have a much, much slower ink flow than I'm used to. They do however dry very even, which is a lovely compensate for that slow speed. But if I'm honest, I would like a little bit more pace. Beyond that, the colors do blend very well together. Without any care or effort, I'm able to quickly smush colors together and fairly cleanly. 
I think that we do get a great range of colors. I would assume the colors are based on the artworks provided as there are some unusual or unlikely choices within the pack, but as a collection, the variety is great. The only limitations I'm feeling are what I actually want to do versus what I can do with what I have available. That's not a problem of the colors, that's just a problem with me being so picky and wanted to do my own thing. Now one thing I really wanted to try was the brush pen again, seeing as this was all for fun, there's no reason not to give it a go. And yeah, this thing is awesome. When I add details like this over artwork, I prefer random, unplanned, uneven lines. This pen really helped with that, very solid black, not very reflective at all, so it worked great in enhancing shadows and adding those little touches I wanted. All in all, I must say the results do appear to be really good considering these were just tests. The kit does appear to be great value for money. Certainly a big selling point of this kit is the Jazza Marketing, a piece of history from a living legend of a creator. Would I buy one? I see no reason not to. As a fan of Jazza, it satisfies that level of support while also giving me a full kit of art supplies with pretty much everything I need hassle free. That said, the pencils, the markers, we're gonna have to run some more tests on those in a future video. I wanna give a big thank you to Jazza for sending me today's box, as well as Canvi for sponsoring today's video. Link to both can be found down below. But while I got you here, if you're new around here, consider subscribing. Or if you'd like to see an epic battle, click right here. Do it.